either through redundancy, sadly quite often, or just through really wanting to get their own vision out there. You know, people are people do go into indie indie, indie games, and you know, it's, it's it is a really interesting place like to look and also to and also to work. The, the indie scene is wide and it's varied, and for every amazing game that just goes sleeping over, like say Super Meat Boy or Minecraft. There's, you know, there's a myriad of, 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 of smaller ones, but I think that's part of the reason it's so interesting as well. Pro Zomboid is a survival game. You are a, a balding middle-aged man with an injured wife who uh, is in a town called, in a place called Knox County in, in America, and it's been taken over by zombies, and you have to survive as, as, as long as you can. Basically, it's it's The Sims meets a, a a George Romero kind of old style movie. Um, Project Zomboid started with um, these two guys. They were working uh, for various different studios. Didn't find it creative enough. Didn't have um, enough sway in, in, in what they were doing, and or, you know, it just um, this wasn't great working conditions. And I, I mean, I, I actually get a lot more sway than I would for with with. with, with any of the big place, any of the big teams and the big studios really. I mean, we, we, we can have chats and we can have these great ideas late at night and, we, and then the next you know, 24 hours later they can be in the game and we, they can be ready to be pumped out and, and, and shown to everybody. Making an indie game the way that we are is very difficult um, and it's mainly through the, the goodwill of the community and, and through the people that really want us to succeed. That, that, that we're still going and that we're pumping out such a, well, a, a product that we think is, is good and, and will be better. We've got the demo out there that's showing people what, what, we, what we're capable of doing and what we are doing. And uh, we're basically saying this is what we're going to create and if you just chip in then you will get access to every iteration of the build as it goes and then you will, in, the, in the end of the day you will get the final product as well. Getting the word out there has just been through a lot of people just really getting into the concept with us. I mean, the, the community support we've had has just been absolutely fantastic. You know, there's an awful lot of gamers. I mean, they're not, a lot of gamers, myself included, they're not getting any younger. And um, at, at the end of the day, great gameplay does not necessarily require crazy, crazy pixels or crazy lighting, all that stuff. The only limit of uh, in what we terms of what we can do is maybe our own, own morality. Um, but because we are like on, on the internet, I guess you know. I think at the minute that we go too far, you know, our community will let us know. Maybe we can rein it back back in a bit. But I mean, as it is so far, I mean, the the, the one of the opening choice is: do you do you smother your wife with a pillow, or do you care for her and try and get her back back to health? We can basically make the game that our fans and our community re really want. So, uh, as soon as we start making the game wrong, then we can I mean, we can change it. That's the, because of the way we're developing. We're, we're we're giving people, we're showing people what we can do, and then uh, and then we're asking people to invest in us and invest in what in our vision for the game, and then we're giving it to them. So it's an entirely different way uh, to, to to make games, really.